My waist too small, my face too cute, my game too strong, your man too close, he on my phone, about these bills, put mommy on the phone, he ain't never coming on, look, I'm about to go in, I'ma get inside, he bitch your head like a sewing, I'ma lace the track in the front, make it blend in, pull that shit back so the glue ain't sh now, Archers, I don't know who is the sequel to who, right? But I just did your, your sister slash brother, Libra, before you. And the way you, the way the cards are falling in regards to the Oracle message, it looks like a lot of you guys have some similarities, okay? But <laughs> introductions, hello, how have you been? I'm late. <laughs> I'm late, you late, we late. Come on, it, it's no problem. I just watched Rush Hour um but i'm so sorry okay girl think things are, it's i was just saying to somebody i feel like whenever i'm consistent in other areas of my life it's like some some other areas like eh, okay and i'm late with posting these monthly readings let's talk okay it's your monthly forecast we're seeing what's going on with you for the month of june check the chart you could have any placement of sagittarius literally we're going to discuss that in a moment um my promo sale for monthly readings is still active but it will only be active for as long as i'm posting monthly readings i still have the uh the ah! i was about to say the big four i don't want to offend any other zodiac signs though i only say that because they usually get the most views um for monthly readings but i still gotta post those uh but i was like i said i was late with posting monthly readings because other things are happening so sag um i've already oh pricing and content information is down below in the description box all the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section please like and subscribe so m m m m I've already pulled the zodiac signs of who could be around you during this time, who the messages in this reading could be about, um, and who could be being nosy during this time. You showed up in Libra reading, Libra showing up your reading, so definitely go check them out because there could be some messages for you in there. We have Sag, Aries, Libra, and then we have Capricorn showing up on the bottom of the deck. Um, so first thing, like I said at the beginning of reading, any placement of Sag can be up in here. Why? Here's the confirmation. Anytime I pull the zodiac of the sign that I'm reading for, that means you can have any placement of said sign and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Um, like I uh, oh, and also these signs can be around you during the sign. There could be messages in this reading about these signs, or there could be some messages for you in these monthly readings. Overall energy kind of matches with Libra. They had this on the bottom of the deck in their monthly reading, but your overall energy is they're draining your energy with seek find and locate showing up on the bottom of the deck so sag i was warning libra about giving to situations or people where they are being taken advantage of they are uh, getting the short end of the stick i'm warning you about you needing to find out who it is so it's almost like libra knows who it is and they just need to stop it right they need to cut the cord you need to figure out who it is let me get my tools, okay? <laughs> so, let's see. Let's get the magnifying glass. Um, basically, a lot of you guys are or could be finding out who and what uh, I'm hearing is a liability. What isn't adding any value or substance to your life? Spirit guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? I need... Peace, peace, peace. Okay, that bright scintilla song is the interlude. It's called Peace, literally. Four of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Is this Libra energy? It is. Not the Seven of Swords, but the Four of Swords is. So, Sag. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Temperance, and the Page of Wands. Now, be careful about standing still when you need to be in motion. So this is being inactive. This is you not being consistent in certain things that you, Ace of Wands, are trying to bring to fruition, trying to manifest. With the Seven of Swords, I say this all the time, it's like taking four steps forward, five steps back. You've really made no improvement. You've really made no growth if you're not staying consistent with certain things in your life during this time. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, is all about the balance, okay? I swear, check out Libra reading because that sounds like something I would say to them. But that's what temperance is all about. It's about peace. It's about serenity. It's about, um, I'm hearing things being in order in your life. 
pouring pouring into what needs to be poured into. This is a sexy card. So some of you guys, if you're trying to be at your sexiest, at your at your best, it for awards, get get rest when you need to, drink your water, stay moisturized, stay active, um, eat right, all right. With the seven of swords, don't go back on those routines that, like I said, keep you sexy. Also, I see some of you guys giving the cold shoulder ice box where my heart used to be no Marion to someone who owned bullshit. <gasps> we can't do that again. You see that? This would this would have spilled all over my on my on my rug. This is alpaca. You gotta block that shit. <laughs> we'll put the top on that. that that was gonna be a scary thing right before work too i would have cut this camera off everything is done i'm not i'm calling out yes but like i said i see someone here on bullshit trying to come back towards you with the four swords you are so off of it's it's diabolical honestly truly i don't i don't want to talk to you i don't want to speak to you this is like somebody here showing up at your house and then they find out that the, the building was demolished. Okay, <laughs> The house was bought by somebody else. Like, you don't even live there no more. Like, someone here can't access you in the same way that they used to. Um, this is definitely a fellow air sign, like an Aquarius or a Gemini, an earth sign, Virgo, maybe Capricorn, um, or a fellow fire sign, like a Leo. So, guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? Whoa, this took a turn. It took a turn. Four of Swords and the Death card. Um, I'm seeing the anniversary of someone's passing, um, or this is attending someone's funeral, wake. I see someone with ashes here. That's how I want to go. Throw me in the stove, baby, and dump me out. Um, that sounded crazy. <laughs> only in a Sagittarius reading would we make fun well we're not making fun of but will we find humor in that but I don't want to no disrespect to anybody you know who has buried anybody I don't want to be buried I don't want to in my opinion I don't want to decompose I understand why certain people do it because it's kind of still keeping the essence of the person you know it's it's really no different than burying you're just or not burying it's really no different than you know is it called being, I was about to say being incinerated, being cremated. <laughs> ah, it's really no different. You're just, you know, boxing the remains and you're uh, burying them underground. It's just, I don't know. I just, I don't want anything to be left. <laughs> oh, you break me down. Stop. We're, we, I don't, why are we talking about this? I don't know. Some of y'all, this could be, you know, someone here is getting a life insurance policy drawn up, a will, um, so I, you know, if it doesn't have to do with literal death, I see someone here making plans to, um, let go of something. You know, this could be someone here seeking out a divorce lawyer. This could be someone here, um, looking up what the policies and procedures are for, um, I'm hearing shit. I just heard either termination or quitting a job, maybe leaving a certain policy. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? Ten of Cups with the Strength card. I, I told you, someone here is looking to separate or divorce from someone. Excuse me. I also said this could be, you know, someone here has passed. I hate the fact that recently is coming to mind, but it is. Um, or like I said, this is the this is around the time of the anniversary of someone's passing. Goodness gracious. <sighs> what is this? Oh, um, a lot of you guys are finding joy in letting go, finding joy in letting things end, finding joy in moving on from certain things. 
It's like if it's if it's expired, it's expired. I'm not eating that. You know, <laughs> like if it's if it's done, why hold on to it? Why why feel any sort of way about it? It's like a lot of you guys are becoming a lot more accepting of whenever things have um it's time has uh you know it's time is up. Some people feel this way in regards to certain relationships, certain things that they're outgrowing during this time. A lot of Sagittarius see this as growth. You know, it's like that just means that I'm transforming. And we got the death in your reading. That's, that's a strong card, a strong energy to have in said reading. Spirit, so guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups. This can't, it can't be you because I don't see your energy out here at all. Now, I feel as though this points towards more so outside of you just because I don't see any sad energy or sad cars out in your reading yet or fire sign cars for that matter. Uh, Sag, there's someone outside of you who I feel thinks it's like like i said they feel as though they're getting this cold shoulder from you and they are they're they're right <laughs> they're not exaggerating four swords ace of swords death card and ten of cups like a, a bridge has been burnt between you and them but with the seven of cups three of pentacles page of pentacles in the world cards like someone here is still uh wondering or hoping that something here is salvageable between you and them i don't know i mean it's it's a couple nails in the coffin they gonna have to be Beatrix kiddo to get up at that motherfucker. All right, then do they know Pi May? Because that is the only way they are breaking out of this box, um, this relationship or this situation. Damn, you know how this hurt or this situation ship, girl. I'm not getting to your business. Yet here we are with an air, water, or an earth sign individual. Specifically, we have Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Let's throw Cancer in there because we had ten and the seven of cups out here in the cap and Capricorn. Like, damn, they really done with me? Yes, yes. Yeah, I did. Hold up, I lost it. Fuck. No, there it is. Okay, I just saw the nine of wands, and there it is, baby. That's you. Yeah, it's like. And you see that eight of swords behind it. Um, a lot of y'all, I have a poker face. It's, it's like a lot of you guys are not going to let anybody see you squirm, sweat, squeal. What are we getting into right now? Anyway, let's keep it moving. What am I thinking about? I think it's more of a me thing this morning. Um, a lot of you guys are not going to let, uh, no matter how you might feel about a certain situation or energy. This for me is, you know. I'm standing on business. If I said I'm not fucking with you, I'm not fucking with you. No matter how much I might be like, ah, am I doing the right thing? Ah, what's going on with them? Nine of Wands, they would never know that. They would never know that because from the outside, you it's like they're not playing. That's Even though you might be in a space of, you know, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't know if I made the right decision with the Nine of Wands. A lot of you guys will still stand on business, you know, even if you're still, ah. Because with the Ace of Swords, once you're sure about something, it's like, I can't unknow, right? And I that has someone here so perplexed. Because with the nine of wands, it's like I'm hearing you're not breaking. What? You're not you're not bending. What? I thought that was side bad and it didn't. But I was thinking about bending in regards to will. And it still sounds crazy. But I think it might just be me, right? Someone here is wondering why you're not breaking, why you're not bending for them. Like, what? who, who is this new Sag? Because when I'm off you, I'm off you. That's what says Sag. Spirit, guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? Judgment. With death in your reading. Strength, Sag, that's you. 
a lot of you guys made the right decision in letting someone walk away from you or shooing some way shooing someone away from you um an air or, or water sign there's a little bit of earth out here too um if it is an earth sign i don't really feel like they hold a lot of weight they're not making too big of an impact because if it is earth sign they're not showing up in your reading they're showing up kind of like on the outskirts um and yeah i just heard no they really have no power in your domain in your realm if it is an earth sign let's keep moving but this air um, or this water sign individual outside of you with the strength card. I'm telling you, it's like someone here wants to be able to, I'm hearing, overpower you in some sort of way. And they're confused. You ain't got the bank. Are you kidding me? Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the King of Cups. It's like there's someone here that is... It's like a beggar trying to make you beg. You're in need, sir and dear ma'am, not me. All right? There's someone outside of you who I don't feel like understands that. And that is the reason why they cannot, you know, get, get past your boundaries. You don't have the financial capital. You don't have any sort of capital. I don't, I don't. Let me stop. I don't even know you have a debit card. Like, there's someone outside of you who I feel like, oh, I said this earlier, no power in your domain. What you says goes in your kingdom. So someone will not come around you, 1616, acting an ass. It won't be happening. Not around here. Not around here. Moon card and the devil. It makes sense as to why someone could be someone could be this delusional. To think they're going to come in your space and tell you how to maneuver is delusion at its finest. Moon card and the devil. Especially with the five of pentacles. You can't tell me what to do. You ain't my daddy. Nigga, nigga I'm big mama. Are you kidding me? You know, that's what it's giving. No, no, no lotto, all right? Three of Swords. Mm. That's what I just saw when I shuffled. Hangman. Yeah, this is... This is someone here trying to, you know, get with you while dealing with somebody else. Get with you after hurting you. And it's like... <laughs> Still deal with you after crossing a certain line with you. And I don't know. I think, says people, you know, consider you to be a very easygoing person because, you know, you're you're so unserious most of the time. But people don't understand. Whenever they cross a line with you, you're crossing a line. I need you to understand that. Have you ever watched Life? Did you know what happened whenever they went over the line? So, guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? That's what we like. It's the strength card. It's Leo energy because you are a Sag. I would apply this to you. It's like the minutes just keep rolling. <laughs> I got to be to work soon. I got to leave by a certain time if I want to avoid the traffic. And it's looking dastardly by the minute. Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles. I'm hearing just say when. Some of you guys, whenever you're ready to disconnect or detach from certain things, it's up to you to make it happen. All right. But with the judgment card and the death card, there's going to come some big changes. Or you have to be ready for some big changes if you plan on separating from certain things in your life. But these are only things that with the four swords, you don't really feel any passion for anymore. Like the only fire sign energy out here is strength. But a lot of you guys are spiritually evolved enough, death card and judgment card, to know when there's certain things that, have I said this before? Have The time has ran out. Four of Wands, Nine of, nine of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this is in regards to your living situation, your lifestyle, um, like how you decide to live, you know, outside of paying bills. What, what's, your, what's your life like? You know, what, what's your leisure? What's, what's, what's your choice of leisure, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what changes are you willing to institute whenever it comes to you making big um, changes? 
in regards to your lifestyle. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2020? Oh. We have the Tower with the Six of Cups. Uh, we have a, a placement of Mars showing up. Mars and Sagittarius is out here. So, Sag, here you are with the Knight of Wands. Please do not let somebody come back around you after leaving so messy. Uh, or you need to stay away from a messy individual. Four of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Tower card. Now, I could be talking about a Sag because Tower is more so fire or water sign energy, right? Um, and a Sag, you know, need to be stayed the hell away from. Or Sag with the Strength card and the Tower card. This for, this for me is you being able to recognize a certain situation here is in... De, de, not destruction, but destruction. Decline. There's a certain situation here in the decline. And you need to realize with the death card and the judgment card, it's probably time for me to um, get out of here. Now, this could be some sages uh, dealing with a loss. Um, it could be like a literal loss, like they've lost someone close to them. Um, this could be a sage maybe dealing with a job loss. Still trying to find their way. Or oh, like I said, you need to be careful about keeping someone around you or letting someone come around you or come back around you who brings nothing but this turmoil, tower. Like you ever start dealing with somebody or let somebody back in and shit start going haywire in your life? It's very telling. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? Queen of Swords with the Hermit. The men are here, King of Wands and the Nine of Wands. But I could be talking to the men specifically, but overall, Sag, I do see that there is an air, water, Maybe a fire sign, feminine energy that you guys need to be careful of. There's a feminine energy that says no matter who you are, no matter who I'm speaking to, you need to be careful of. Um, it's like don't get too close to this this lady. Don't settle down with this lady. Don't commit to this lady. Damn. For, it's like this is the bitch at work that you don't speak to. You don't give any of your life to. No information. This is the bitch you leave on red. There's a feminine energy says that you need to leave alone. Four swords. Don't don't get. I'm hearing friendly with this lady. Don't get chummy with this lady. We're co-workers, not friends. Is what I'm hearing. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. Fool card and the Hermit. Um, yeah, I'm about my money, and that's about it. Now, I don't know why. I, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're, we're about to see. Last card. Spirit, guys, what's happened to the Sagittarius Zodiac in the month of June of 2024? Um, it just looks as though this person makes messes and they expect for other people to clean them up. And they're smart, Queen of Swords. They know what they're doing. Um, but you know what I'm hearing? It's like, you know, they can't be bothered to do that. Like, this is a bitch who think she too good to, she too good to clean the counters. After she was just using shit, like putting shit on the counters. You're too good to clean up after yourself. Is that what you're saying? Nine of swords with the six of cups. Or this is a woman who is so scared of being not. I was about to say knocked off. And you know, girl, if you know street talk. We get, we're getting into another situation. It's like a paranoid lady. By always thinking somebody is coming for them, coming for their spot, trying to, I'm hearing, dethrone them. And it's like, girl, dethrone what? The tower. You you live in ruin. Girl, nobody wants what you have. Nobody can get what you have because you have nothing. Nothing. Yeah, don't get too close to a bitch like that. What's your overall energy? They're draining your energy. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like no one's jealous of you. 
Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Five of Wands. And some of y'all, it looks as though this is someone here who feels like you're competition to them. They feel like they are competing with you. Um, you seem more youthful. You seem more um, active. It, I'm telling you, this is a person who is on the decline, damn, mentally, health-wise, spiritually. And they see you as like, you know what I just heard? A qualified candidate. You know, I heard young buck. Hey yo, be careful of them cougars. Be careful of them sugar daddies. All right, there's a there's a reasons why nobody at age want them. If you into that type of lifestyle, go crazy. But if you're not, girl, no. But like I, it's like. Your time's up. There's someone outside of your energy who is at that, that space mentally and physically. And they look at you and it reminds them even more that their time is up. Because you are someone that with the Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. You, you're super mature, but with the Six of Cups, you're still young. You're still youthful. You're still, you're still moving. You're still in motion. It's a bit, this is a bitch that's scared to get in motion. Ah, uh, let's get out of here, girl, because I'm running over. This was your June monthly reading. Remember, any any uh, placement of Sag could be in here. The troublemakers you might need to be aware of. Libra, or just the energies that showed up in this reading. Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Aries. Okay? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Right?